I'm going to read you a story called Home Sweet Hamish. It was a cold and wintry day. The wind blew the falling snow through the glen. But Cat, Squirrel and Rabbit were snug and warm inside their cosy home. Cat, Squirrel and Rabbit were very proud of their little house. It was their home and it was perfect place to live. Until... Hamish came to stay. Cat, Squirrel and Rabbit loved Hamish. But he was big and hairy, with huge horns and more bad habits than an animal could bear. I love you guys, he said. Hamish, you're squashing me. Hamish was very clumsy. He was always knocking things over. He was really lazy and always leaving things lying around, including his toffee wrappers, which were very sticky. And he was terribly untidy, always trailing things in and out, in and out, in and out. And when the animal said, Hamish, tidy up your mess, he huffed and puffed and grumped and moaned. <gasps> oh dear. Then one day, Hamish caused absolute chaos. He knocked over everything and the animals went crazy. That's it, yelled Rabbit. We've had it up to here, shouted Squirrel. We can't cope with your mess any more, cried Cat. And they packed Hamish's toffee bag and sent him out into the snow. Get out! Hamish couldn't understand what the fuss was all about. It was only a few wrappers, he said. And feeling sorry for himself, Hamish sat down in the snow and ate some toffee because a toffee or two always made him feel much better. After the animals had tidied away Hamish's mess, they relaxed and put their feet up. The house was so peaceful without Hamish. As the day wore on, the snowflakes grew bigger. The animals started to feel a bit guilty. Poor Hamish, murmured Rabbit. We can't just leave him out there, said Cat. But he can't live in here, said Squirrel. Hmm. Still, they all agreed that something had to be done. So they set to work on a plan. Meanwhile, Hamish was missing his friends. He peered through the little window to see what they were doing. But the animals were so busy, they didn't even notice Hamish. They don't like me anymore, said Hamish. And he wandered off feeling utterly miserable. Suddenly, the animal's front door flew open. Cat, squirrel and rabbit rushed into the snow. Hamish, we have an idea, they cried. They raced after Hamish and showed him their plan. The plan was simple, but the animals needed someone big and strong to make it work. Hamish, will you help us, they asked. I'll do my best, beamed Hamish. So the animals explained what they needed him to do. It's going to be great. Hamish gathered as much wood as he could carry and Cat, Squirrel and Rabbit searched for some handy bits and bobs on Hamish's pile of rubbish. Then, while the animals held the pieces in place, Hamish hammered them together with his hard hooves. And after lots of clattering and banging and some special finishes and touches, there stood a house for Hamish. Well, Hamish, what do you think? asked the animals. Hamish went inside for a closer look. There was plenty of room for all his things, a special tin for his toffees, and even a little door leading into the animals' house next door. Groovy! shouted Hamish. The animals were delighted. Hamish unpacked his bag and made himself at home. Would you like to come round for a toffee? asked Hamish. Mm, yes, please, said the animals. Do come in then, beamed Hamish, but make sure you wipe your feet first. <laughs>